So, I thought it'd be a nice gesture to surprise my grandmother here in Alabama for Mother's Day on Sunday. This looks like a good place for a hammock, right? Let's get it set up. So today, I'm gonna to talk about the movie Her by Spike Jones. Now, I've never done a movie review before, so I don't know if you should see the movie first or see the review first. And I don't wanna spoil anything if you haven't seen the movie. Really, honestly, you should just rent the movie on iTunes or Redbox or wherever it is, because it's really fantastic. If you're familiar with the concept of the movie, it follows this introverted guy, Theodore Twombly, as he gets over his recent divorce with his wife. One of the means that he uses to cope with this is by downloading and installing a brand new artificially intelligent operating system that promises to have its own kind of ideas and evolve over time. Like, it's really this fantastic futuristic stuff. And it addresses a growing concern that a lot of people have about computers, namely that they're getting to be as smart as, you know, a human being is capable of being. Um, it's really unsettling to a lot of people. But I don't think the movie's about that. Like, I think that that's a fun angle to take with it. I think the movie's about something else. I think the movie... It's actually about interpersonal relationships and what, if you stripped it down to the bare bones, a healthy relationship consists of. So the movie outlines several different kinds of relationships that go into there. So first of all, you've got Theodore's relationship to himself. He's self-deprecating, he's isolated, he lives alone, and he spends most of his free time <laughs> looking up internet porn and playing video games. Sounds like a lot of people you probably know. Now, the second relationship is between Theodore and his friend Amy. She's a really, really good friend. They used to date back in college, but that doesn't really count. But in any case, they, they have this friendship going on, so that's the second kind of relationship. The third relationship is a tacit connection to one of his co-workers, the receptionist at the place where he works. And the receptionist clearly wants to start a friendship, but they're not quite there yet, so it's like a burgeoning friendship. The third is quite obviously Theodore's relationship to his ex-wife, Catherine. And this is told mostly through flashbacks. And then the fourth major relationship is with Theodore and Samantha, the operating system. Using this medium of having a relationship conducted through a smartphone, which is essentially what Samantha is. Samantha is an operating system that lives in Theodore's computer, lives in an earpiece, lives in his, you know, his cell phone. It, it kind of holds up a mirror to the rest of us. Now, if you've been in a long distance relationship, you know that the majority of that kind of relationship is conducted via phone calls or text messages or email snippets or pictures you send each other. You know, it's all, it's all remote. It all takes place through this one screen that you hold. Even normal relationships, romantic relationships, primarily communicate to each other through this communicator device and it's punctuated by these in-person rendezvous where you'll go out to dinner, you'll go for a walk in the park or you'll go to the beach or something like that. But the majority of your time spent with that other person is spent remotely with this device as an intermediary. So what Spike Jones shows us is that a truly meaningful interpersonal relationship can exist where two people never see each other. And I think that this this is a novel concept because humans, you know, we're, we're animals by nature. We thrive on things like touch and feel and smell and taste and all of these sensory input things. But a relationship between the self and the other exists beyond that. It exists purely in the medium of conversation and intellectual stimulation and ideology. And so those are the themes that Spike Jones explores through this artificial intelligence, Samantha. Now, the full breadth and scope of this relationship and the way that it plays out is beyond the time limit of this video. So I would encourage you to go to my website, enlhays.com, and you can read way more detail than you ever wanted to about this movie. But if you haven't seen it, I swear you should go see this movie first because it's, um, it's really fantastic. It'll make you feel things. But in the meantime, go to enlhays.com, read my review of her. It'll make you think differently about relationships. Until then, remember that everything is totally manageable. Stay happy.